I'll show you one other cool mod before we go much further. We've got four oscillators in here. I'm going to make this a five oscillator synth. And I'm going to, the fifth oscillator is going to be a sampler. So I'm selected on mixer and I go to function and I go five. I'm going to control click and create a control. I'm going to call this sampler. And for my fourth macro down here, I'm going to go macro. And I can look at the samplers that they have available. They have three. But if instead, because I'm not making, I'm not using macros, what I'm looking to do is actually use a built in module sampler. Now look, I've got other options. Let's use this little simple grain resynth. This is really dope. We'll run A right into amplitude, and I don't think I'll need a gate inlet at all. So I've got sample selector, I've got loop length, loop shape, grain size, all sorts of amazing things now that I can do. When I head back out to this, take a look. Now check this out. Resynth, nothing in there. Hit the sample button. Now you can drag audio from anywhere right into this, or you can add through your browser. One of my favorite things to do is this. Uh, boom. Do this. Now I set the root key, put it on middle C. Let's change the low note to be zero and the high to be 127. Now it's all the way across, full velocity range. There's my voice. Almost there. Hey, sampler's turned up. Amplitude's up. Maybe I do need a gate. There you go. Cool. So, so now we could even set this up to loop down here. You can see our waveform. You can even open an external editor, put it in loop mode, set up a loop brace. So this has been Building Stuff with Reactor, and I hope you check out more about me and us and how to make music at www.slamacademy.com. We've got classes and online programs and Ableton sound design and all other sorts of fun topics.